Good day, I am Nikki Pauline Sayago together with Ms. Crisel Jane Gaa to give you a brief background and assessment of the Pinto Art Museum located in Antipolo City. Pinto Art Museum is a modern museum located in Antipolo Rizal. The museum was established in the year 2010 to showcase to public the art collection of Dr. Juven Kuanang, a Filipino neurologist and arts patron. The word Pinto is a Filipino word that means door in English. Besides, the museum was founded on the premise that art can serve as a diplomatic bridge between different nationalities, worldviews, and communities. The modernistic and aesthetic tradition represented in the collection have their roots in the history of the Spanish colonial occupation and reference academic and religious arts beliefs, but they follow a markedly different stylistic and technical trajectory after the proliferation of modernism in the mid-20th century. Surrealism, Expressionism, Minimalism, Social Realism, and Conceptual Art are among the modernist movements represented in the Foundation Collection. It was distinguished by an innately Filipino commitment to the cultural identity and national history. The Pinto Art Museum now hosts rotating exhibition of the Foundation Collection and manage an adjacent gallery space that exhibits and promotes contemporary Filipino artists. The museum was designed by an artist Antonio Liao and is located within Silangan Garden, a two-hectare botanical garden that serves as an ecological haven for appreciation of local flora and fauna. Moving on to the service cave of Pinto Art Museum. When it comes to environment, first is the ambient condition. The museum is an open area, and because of that, the museum uses industrial fan. There is music in certain galleries so people can connect more with the artworks. It also has a good atmosphere. Next is the human responses. Music can give relaxation to tourists while viewing the artworks, imagination on various artwork, and of course, realization. Another part of the environment is the space and function. The museum is visually attractive. The museum has white walls, flat roofs, and cubic structures. The furniture is scattered across the lawns and pathways outside. The museum shows a homey vibe, complete with rustic wood pieces and antique white irons, beds, and sofas, making each artwork feel personal. Signs, symbols, and artifacts. Artwork are displayed inside and outside of the museum. Every artwork has a signage. Decoration is aesthetically appealing. It is good for pictures or people say it is an Instagrammable place. Besides, one of the part of service cave is the human interaction. For instance, the interaction between employees and customers. The employees in the museum are attentive when the customer is asking. They are approachable. They are organized, for instance, in checking the vaccination card of each customer before they are allowed to enter the museum. Security and safety because the staff are roaming around the museum. Also, the staff ensure that every part of the museum are clean and sanitized. And these are the available experiences designed to meet the specific needs of their customer. First in line is their schedule. Every Monday is closed, but every Tuesday to Sunday, they are open. For the entrance fee, for adults, is 250 pesos. For PWD or persons with disability and senior citizen can pay 200 pesos. While on the students, they can acquire a big discount, just present their IDs and pay for only 125 pesos. And for the children, 3 years old below, they are free to enter the museum. These are the attractions and activities can try in Pinto Art Museum. First, there is a chapel. Next is viewing the contemporary art collection paintings, sculptures, architecture, and music. Pinto Arboretum Philippine Plants. This is a green space with native Philippine plants and trees. This is another founder passion project to help awareness and conserve these endangered trees and plants. There are also upper garden in the museum. Visitor can experience scenic beauty, picture taking, sunset view roof deck. Upper garden features a pool and lounge chair. People can really relax in this area. Pinto Museum of Indigenous Arts featuring cultural artifacts. Pinto Academic of Arts and Sciences, people can feel the connection between science and humanities in this area. Another reason why people visit this place is because there is a museum shop and an in-house restaurant inside the museum named Cafe Risa. So these are the attractions and activities can try in Pinto Art Museum. We believe that the available product experiences are capable of providing and meeting the visitor's satisfaction, needs, and wants. It may have an entrance fee, but we believe it is only necessary as it is a privately owned contemporary art museum. 
and it will undoubtedly be worthwhile since it is not that expensive and yet you can enjoy a variety of experiences inside including not only the painting themselves but also the other Filipino artist collectives, the ambience, the food, the botanical, the sunset view, the aesthetic or Instagrammable corners and the overall design and the location itself of the museum as it was clean and neat as well. It is also easily accessible whether you have a car or not and just use public transportation as there are many tricycle drivers that are familiar with the place. In reality, most visitors of Pinto Art Museum were drawn in by its aesthetically pleasing, picturesque interior and exterior features. Artistically speaking, they certainly satisfy their visitors as most of the feedback was positive. Also, their food receives a lot of positive feedbacks. Despite the positive feedback about the museum and the food, something is still lacking. Some of the negative criticisms point to some of the employees as being unresponsive and unattended. Also, since the interior of the museum has more talent, senior citizens, PWDs, and other people with health conditions that can be easily exhausted and or asthmatic cannot fully enjoy it. It is also said that they um, sometimes adjust their visiting hours without prior notice, and we believe that those are the areas where they need to improve. First, they must ensure that they train every member of the staff to be acknowledgeable, attentive, and responsive all the time in all ways. Because even just a single staff member who is not well trained in providing good service can have a negative impact on the overall image of the employees. Second, if possible, provide easier alternatives such as PWD ramps. And lastly, when they adjust their visiting hours, make sure they announce it on their social media accounts the night before so the visitors from other places can adjust their schedules and avoid wasting time, effort, and money. Since it is a contemporary art museum, if given the opportunity to create experiences, we would love to suggest that they hold a painting activity wherein they will have a designated area and or place where visitors who wish to try this activity can do it, and afterward, they can hang or display it there. Or they can also take their artwork home if they want to. But there will of course be a fee for this activity as you will be paying for the materials that you will be utilizing. And the designated room where they can hang their artwork will also be open publicly. So some people will be inspired by the fact that you don't need to create flawless artwork to be called an artist. Everyone is considered an artist in their own way. And those artists who have dreamed of having their work displayed in a museum will be able to do so through this little gesture and will be driven to create even better masterpieces in the future. And since there's a coffee shop offered inside the museum's vicinity, they can also provide a design your own latte activity. However, you can only do so if you purchase a latte. And in order to avoid wasting food, they must finish it, otherwise they will be charged. And that's all for our presentation. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Have a nice day ahead.